Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The purpose of this video is going to be showcasing you which kind of tech, which kind of gadgets you might need during your studies in Germany. Now, of course, one thing I want to make really clear is if you are on the verge of deciding you want this or that, or maybe you just want an opinion to finish your decision of buying something then this video might be really helpful for you also i'll try to cover as many cases as possible like because i am doing engineering so i know everything related to engineering but i'll try to cover as many fields as possible but you have to know that i couldn't cover everything okay so one thing is your phone definitely you need a mobile phone like come on and uh, this I don't even have to tell anyone because everyone already has it so no issue other than that now one thing comes between the laptop on an ipad what you should choose if you can buy only one like if you can buy two then there is no problem you get two uh, but if you can only buy one then then what you should do so before even saying that always know this that it is not really necessary to get everything because at the end of the day it's just tools okay a good painter can paint with almost anything but a bad painter will like fail if you give him the best and best of tools and everything too so it is more than possible to complete your masters with just a pen and paper but in the current times we live in you need some kind of electronic devices to make your presentations maybe if you're in mechanical engineering you need simulation softwares or modeling softwares solidworks ANSYS etc other type of fields maybe you do coding you need a laptop to code I mean technically you can code on this but obviously the infrastructure is better on this you need to do investing or trading you need a laptop you can see where I'm going with this, right? Because if you have the option of buying an iPad or a laptop, I suggest go with a laptop because a laptop is the first thing that you should invest in if you are really trying to get a device for your education. You can make presentations and all the aforementioned things that I told you and even helps you do research. You can store your books in there, organize everything. Amazing, amazing device. A mouse with it, completely optional but adds to the convenience. Now the thing about an iPad, what must we buy an iPad for? Look, if you really want to take notes, let's say you want to take notes on an iPad and it's pretty amazing. You one might think like, how is it writing on glass screen, right? But it's not at all tough. And once you like get the hang of it, you actually prefer this more. So to take notes maybe to store your stuff to store your books one thing with this is like you can't don't need to carry thousands of books with you when you're going somewhere you can just have everything gigabytes and gigabytes of data just stored in it and just take this de device with you wherever you go so that is one thing it has many features like this app good notes app you know while you're writing you can also record what the lecturer is saying so as you're writing you're recording also means what the lecturer is saying that also gets recorded and then you can listen back to it and that's also an amazing feature to have but again it's not necessary but it is something amazing to have so primarily primarily if you buy an ipad what will you will use it for for taking notes for studying for storing your books convenience and other things so if you can buy both great if you can't buy both still great if you want to buy one i would strongly suggest go for a laptop first then if you want you can get an ipad later but go for a laptop first phone everyone has now speaking of headphones what are your thoughts on headphones these are noise cancelling headphones again it's a convenience factor if you want it it is pretty amazing but i would suggest if you do buy headphones be sure to go over the ear headphones means like these come your ear completely fits inside there and this part covers your ear if you take a headphone with on ear means this part is like pressing against your ear then it gets quite comfortable after some time but as you can see in these ones these are over the ear headphones so in these ones it goes over your ear and it's comfortable to wear for longer periods of time maybe when you are traveling you need to focus 
you want a noise cancelling option when you are going somewhere you are listening to an audiobook or maybe you are listening to your lectures anything like you know what uses for these are but but of course you don't need to go for a very expensive one it depends on your budget if you have a low budget normal earphones will do but this is also something to keep in mind that's all that's all there is to it people unnecessary like make it complicated and yeah one more thing you need wifi i mean in my student dorm they provide the internet it is included in the rent i only had to buy the router and connect it and that's all so of course everybody needs internet otherwise how you will be connected and know everything that's all people make it unnecessarily complicated the whole gist of the video was this only a phone laptop headphones mouse and ipad and you don't need everything it is possible to survive without them also but at some point or the other you will need a pc personal computer laptop whatever you call it so and and one more point that if you want to choose between if you are confused you want to take an ipad or a laptop first better choice will be to get a laptop and then if the circumstances permit then an ipad hope this helps and and i hope i did not waste much of your time in giving this basic information to you hope that help you make a decision and i'll see you soon in another video okay so assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh